Man, this side. sort of do a quick little video of me old Massey Ferguson 65 and we've only had it for about oh, a bit over a year I got it cheap locally um, I just needed something to do some slashing and stuff with and um, this came up on marketplace I think it was about 2.8 or something like that and yeah, it hasn't been a bad old tractor, but it's, it, we need something a bit better, to be honest with you. But, you know, it's it's 19, I think it's a 58 or a 59 model, so, you know, for the money and how old it is, it, it still doesn't do a bad job. It's good for slashing. But, um, yeah, we'll just do a quick walk around, and then i got the slasher on there. It's a six-footer because the back end of the tractor's been widened. And like the guy told me, because it's got wheel weights on all the wheels, but the guy told me that, that I bought it from because they were in steep country. And then other people go, oh, no, it's because it was used for cropping and whatever. I don't really care, to be honest with you. It's been widened in the back end anyway, but I've got a six-foot slasher on there. It's a, it's a Howard one. I rebuilt the gearbox and everything on that because the seal was leaking in the bottom, which wasn't hard, but um, it's a tough, pretty tough old slasher. But, yeah, well... Um have a quick walk around it and I'll just do a little bit of slashing down this paddock here we've had our these paddocks are split roughly in between 25 and 30 acre blocks we've got six of them and what I do is I run my cattle in in one paddock for a month and then I pull them out and move them and then I slash after they've been in there and um, you know you can get into all the nuts and bolts of the rotational grazing and all the rest of it and like we my wife and I both work 40 hours plus a week so um, we're not here you know I'm, I'm, I'm on the road at four in the morning every weekday so I, I'm not here to move cattle every day and stuff like that so um, but what we're doing works this paddock down here when we came here 18 months ago was pretty much the entire thing was over your head high in Lantana in I'll give you a quick look. We've done this in 18 months, we've turned it into grass. So I'll give you a quick look. So there it is. Yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. But um, it's roughly, it's probably about 25 acres, this paddock. I've already started slashing yesterday. I had to get some more diesel. So, yeah. You couldn't see underneath the trees down there for Lantana. It was about eight foot high all the way through there and uh, there was like you couldn't even look down this paddock it was just for lantana bushes it was out of control so what i do is i spray them with um a mixture of uh high powered roundup and met sun 600 and then once they've gone down wheeled it down and don't over spray them that's the secret to using that stuff is that you've yeah, you want to put enough on to make sure you kill them, but um, then, yeah, I, I run over them with the slasher and slash it and, and it turns into mulch and, yeah, so this is what we do is we run our cattle in for a, a month and then when they come out, whatever they don't eat, it gets turned back into mulch, goes back into the ground and um, it seems to be working, so, and we're getting better, better quality pasture too to what was here originally, you know, like, so we've done the same thing in this paddock. It still needs a bit more tidying up this one. But yeah, this was the same. These, these paddocks at the back of the property up here were, were pretty bad. They've been neglected badly and stuff. But yeah, so I'll um, jump on the tractor and do a quick, uh, I'll do a quick walk around that first. But look at this grass. Unreal. Cattle love it. 
But um, yeah, there she is. The old beast. She's um, you know, it's probably had a bit of a hard life to be honest with you. And um, I'm not gonna restore it or anything like that. And I'll use it until I get a, I'm hoping to get a, a, something a bit bigger and better. Um, sometime this year. We'll see what happens. Everything's expensive now because of stupid COVID. But yeah, and here's my old slasher, which I paid 1700 bucks for from Blake up the road. And it's um, it's been pretty awesome. It's an old Howard one. It's had some dodgy repairs and stuff done on it, but it's good enough for slashing around here anyway. As you can see, it's been widened. It's got big wheel weights on the back end. And it's got wheel weights on the front as well. There they are. So yeah, that's the beast. The old Massey, 65. And then, some people think that because they're called a 65 that they're a 65 horsepower they're not and and the guys that know masses will, will tell you that i think they're around about 45 horsepower it's got the four cylinder perkins diesel engine in it bloody awesome engine beautiful engine. sorry about the wind it wasn't wasn't blowing a minute ago we've got the, it's that time of year but yeah that's a We'll fire her up and do a bit of stuff. I don't know how much you'll be able to hear me. Here we go. Everything works on it, like the brakes and everything still work.
That was just a quick rundown of the old Massey 65. Uh, I hope you can hear me all right. And I don't think the wind's blowing too hard down here now. But the... Um, yeah, the whole, the whole rotational grazing and all that, you know, you can get you can get right into it and everything. But what what we're doing, we it seems to be working. So um, we've they've brought these these paddocks a long way in in just a short amount of time, just by not overgrazing them. Like as you can see, but like, look how much grass there is still in there. But it's all been trampled and. They've gone through it and picked out all the stuff that they like. And this is pretty much the stuff that they don't like and leave behind. So I just slash it off and, you know, yeah, I know you could probably, you know, keep it up 600 or, you know, 500 mil and only take it down a third. But I just slash it down because that way I'm sort of trying to knock the weeds out and give those that better grass a better chance to come up, come up through some of the rubbish stuff that, that overpowers it, you know. So, um, yeah. That's about it. I hope you have a good one. Cheers.